The Communist Party is the initiator in opposing the divine and wiping out religions. When the Communist Manifesto was published in 1848, Karl Marx pitched the idea of atheism as one of the basic doctrines of communism. For more than a century, atheism and class struggle have become the theoretical basis for the Communist Party's tyranny. At age 16, Lenin ripped off his cross from his neck, threw it on the ground and spat at it, saying any religious notion, belief in God, and any thought having to do with God were utterly repulsive. Stalin once proclaimed he'd carry out a five-year plan to spread atheism in Russia, that by the time the plan was completed, churches would be shut down, priests wiped out, and the USSR would become a fertile land of communism and atheism. There are no supreme saviors, neither God, nor Caesar, nor Tribune. The line from the International Anthem has almost become an anti-God statement. The anthem is played at communist conferences. Many who refuse to believe in God have been fed the poison of atheism by communism. According to the World Religious Cultural Periodical, 1998, Volume 1, among the 1.3 billion people who don't believe in any religion, 1.2 billion are in China. They hold that believing in God is superstitious and isn't based on science. The Communist Party uses superstition as a tool to ridicule those who believe in God. But reality has shown otherwise. If believing in God is deemed superstitious, then one would expect most scientists to be atheists, especially the top scientists. But according to a 1997 statistic compiled by Columbia University, since the founding of the Nobel Prize in 1901, out of the 286 American scientists who've been awarded the Nobel Prize, 92% believe in God, 73% are Christians, and 19% are Jewish. During a state visit by former Chinese Communist Party CCP leader Jiang Zemin to the U.S., he asked then-President of the U.S., Bill Clinton, Science in America is so advanced, why do so many people still insist on believing in religions? This is a typical example of the extent of ignorance of CCP top leaders. Maybe it's time for everyone to think about why is the CCP so bent on brainwashing Chinese people with modern science. The CCP has been promoting the so-called atheist science for decades, yet in a country with a 1.4 billion population. How come only one scientist has been awarded the Nobel Prize so far? Tu Yo Yo. The 2015 Nobel Prize in Psychology or Medicine. And how come there are many more ethnic Chinese Nobel Prize winners outside of China who've never been brainwashed by the CCP.